Hey guys, Takamasak here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. Last time we were just about to finish up our lovely beach tour here and go in search of level 5. Now before we get to level 5, it's a good idea to uh, have 100 rupees before we get in there. It's not... If you're close, you should be okay. Say if you're 85, 90, you'll probably be okay. We might get that many before we get to the secret. But, in my opinion, I'd just grab all 100 on the way. Plus, it's a decent idea to have the arrows by this point. You don't absolutely need them. It's perfectly doable uh, without the arrows. It just makes things a little more difficult. But remember what that waterfall lady was saying? She was saying, go up, up, up the mountain ahead? Let's give that a try. Yeah, I think I said it already, but this is the way you get to level 5. And even though I am, you don't necessarily have to go in order. I just, I don't know, I just am. I never really thought to go otherwise in the first quest. And every now and then, dungeons have a secret entrance there, hidden under the, uh... Oh, what were those guys? I want to... Armo statues there. Now, these guys are Pull's voice. And we can easily take care of these guys. If you shoot an arrow... Yeah, it'll not only pierce through them, but it'll kill them in one shot, so... Yeah, otherwise they're going to take five shots there with the white sword. I believe they have, well, nine or ten HP, obviously. I think they're called Pol Pol's Voice because of the uh, the Japanese system. You were able to talk into a microphone or something to kill them, but in exchange for that, we got one-hit kills with arrows. What's a dig dogger? There you go. Bomb them in the nuts. Yeah, keep a... Uh, Keep in mind what that guy said. We'll put that to use a little later. Yeah, I'd say it's a decent trade-off. I don't really need to be yelling into the microphone. Reminds me of an angry video game nerd episode. I don't remember what that was. Some kind of system that was... You yelled something into the microphone and it would shoot the gun or something like that. So I, I don't remember. It was a long time ago. And those guys are Gibdos. Nothing really special about them. So, just murder them and move on with it. Uh, if you go right there, that was obviously the room with the guy in it telling us uh, about the Dig Dog. Where they came up with that name, I have no idea. Does he look like a dog? Uh, I don't know. You'll have to wait and find out. Wait. Hey. Uh, uh. want me in there. Now let's bomb over here. And we get to do a, well, kind of a new enemy, a blue, a blue dark knight. Uh, these guys have, I believe, two more HP, so they'll take one more shot with the white sword here. And they move much more quickly, unfortunately. Uh, bombs will still work on them, but they have the same goofy might work, might not thing. Yeah, once again, if you can, get them from well across the screen, and use your surroundings to your advantage. I don't think I said so the first time we fought these guys, but you can only reach them through the blocks on the vertical like this. You can't stab through the horizontal block for whatever reason. That doesn't stop me from waiting around a corner to stab him in the face. Come here. It is time. Let's go. Well, now you're going to be intelligent, are you? go. Oy! Now these guys seem to drop berries a little more at least, so even though they are more difficult, well, they kind of make up for it. As long as we don't have to fight them in a room with shooting projectiles, they should be okay. I'm sure the game will never do that. Ugh. Let's come down here first. Get to murder some keys. Hey, no. There we go. Now if we bomb over here, this is where you want 100 rupees. Because if we do, there's a secret old guy. Absolutely. Not, now, not only will you get four to your max bombs there, you can see we now hold 12. Uh, he'll refill them for you, so it's kind of nice. Not that I generally am out of bombs. I think I've been out of bomb once this LP, but oh god. There's only one brick in here. How do you expect me to do this? Yeah, 
really the only thing I can say about these guys is, well, obviously take your time, but try to focus on one just to help uh, weed them out here. I want to get that guy in the middle there. Oi! All right. Yeah, you guys just stay over there. Makes my life much easier. There we go. Almost got him. Yeah. Oof. All right, one more. These guys just take a little bit of practice, so if you're getting manhandled, don't worry, I was there at one point, too. Practice makes better. And for coming down here, we get the treasure of the area, which is the recorder, or whistle, or flute, or whatever you want to call it. I believe technically the game says it's a recorder, but... And that has several uses, all of which we'll see later. Alright, let's get out of here. Now you could use the save reset trick, or save continue trick to get back to the start, but I don't really want to lose all my hearts here. Plus I'd like to farm a little bit of rupeeage. I don't want to deal with you guys again, however. Make up your mind. Yeah, if you do get close to them, they are smart enough to turn around and try to maul you there. Hey. Go away. Ow. That's it. You all die now. Can I get a... Well, I was gonna say, a heart would help, but... Not so much anymore. I think I have to kill these guys. There you go. Heart? Heart. I demand heart! That's... Uh, whatever. Ah! Three Dodongos! Oh, just like last time. There you go. Well, he ate it. Not what I wanted to do, but good enough. Yeah! Hey, buddy. It will not work by sticking it up his butt. And massive amounts of bombs. If we unlock this door, we can just sneak straight up and grab the map there. There's not really anything else in that room, so no point in lighting it up. Can I go over here? I have not. Let us investigate. There may be enemies that need murdering. Hey! More keys! I think this leather... this leather, yeah. This level is called the Lizard, I... I think? If you can see a lizard in that, well... I, maybe? I, I... I don't know. It's a real big stretch there. What can you do? It is what it is. Take that, though. Oh, good. Now, the other thing about the stepladder is it can really help you out if you just sit here. These guys can't reach you. There are only a handful of enemies that can uh, get onto that tile there. Uh, one we haven't met yet, and the other would probably be the Poles voice if you ever happen to see them there, because the Poles, Poles voice can jump a little bit. Is that what that means? What does Poles mean? I wonder if that's something in Japanese. Just, uh, like, use or something. I don't, I don't know. The extent of my Japanese is what I learned on the Pon 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 video. Yes, I know. If you haven't seen it, go look it up. And there's the compass. And more darkness. Ooh, regular variety pack in here. You don't even actually have to kill these guys, but for the sake of murdering everything, let us do so. I did have a question. Did the... You notice how the sword I'm using there has kind of the light blue, like uh, Link's tunic there. I was kind of wondering if that also was the, affected by the uh, color palette there for Link. I'm, I'm not sure. I've never checked it. I usually have the blue ring before I grab this sword, so... If anybody knows, feel free to clear that up. 
Hooray! And we get another key. I have nine keys. Oh dear. This is getting absurd. Here you go. Now you might have noticed too, the growling gets a little bit different depending on the type of boss, so it can kind of give it away. But this guy is a dig dogger. Well, let's go down here first. Anything down here? Oh. No. No, there's not. Oi! There you go. Death! Ow. At least get some hearts. Ha ha ha. The bow and arrow is such a classic Legend of Zelda item. I know there's a couple ways to deal with this guy. Uh, as you read earlier, the Dig Dogger hates certain kinds of sounds. So what you do is you need to play the recorder there, and he'll break up into a smaller version of himself. Now, if you'd like to drop a bomb on him, uh, you can do that. Just wait for him to start coming towards you, and once he's pretty much right on your bomb, uh, play the recorder, and the bomb should hit the weaker form of him, uh, letting you only need to hit him, hit him twice. But otherwise, he'll just take three hits, so it's not absolutely damning if you don't hit him with a bomb there. He can potentially split up into, I want to say three. I'm not sure if he can split up to four or not, but I believe three is his limit, so it may be more useful to use the bombs when, well, we see him later. But what else is there to do? Maybe we should go check out the mountains in the northwest there. Eh, we'll do that next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. This is Takamasak, and I'll see you later.